if the sadhana is, is, is boiled down to tr- unconditional trust, the practice of attention, and absolute letting go, if that's what the sadhana is, then imagine that you're in, imagine that you're in the ocean. You're in the ocean. And imagine that the sadhana, which is trust, paying attention and letting go, is represented by a buoy. You know a buoy in the middle of the ocean which you attach a boat to? Yeah. You know, a, boat, a buoy is floating in the water and you can, it's, a, it, 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 it's, it's attached to a strong anchor so it doesn't move. You can attach a boat to it and the boat won't move. It's yeah. called a, bu- a buoy. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So imagine mm-hmm. that the sadhana that I'm speaking about, which is unconditional trust, paying attention and letting go, that's the sadhana. So imagine there's a storm, imagine a storm starts brewing. Imagine there's, you're in the middle of the ocean, there's a storm starts brewing and you're, and you're holding onto the buoy, which is unconditional trust, paying attention and letting go. The storm starts brewing. The storm in the context of this discussion is the mind starts getting agitated with fear, doubt, and negativity. The storm starts brewing in the middle of the ocean, and this, this, the, 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 the sky becomes overcast. There's lightning and thunder, and the waves start getting very high. And then it gets harder and harder in the midst of the storm that the mind is generating. It gets harder and harder to hold on to the buoy. And then the storm gets even stronger, which is, fear, which, which is, which is a metaphor for fear, doubt, and negativity. And when the storm gets stronger and stronger and stronger, so if, if in the midst of that kind of storm, which is just coming from the mind of fear, doubt, and negativity, if we can have the courage, the blind courage, to hold on, hold on to the buoy, which is trust, attention, and letting go, if we can hold on to the buoy with all of our hearts, that means when the storm dies down, we won't have moved an inch. The storm dies down, the clouds, the clouds part, the sun comes back out, the sea becomes very calm again. And we're in exactly the same place we were before the storm started. We haven't moved an inch, right? So we're, we're, we're grounded. But for, for, but for another person who didn't have the courage in the midst of the storm to hold on, they let go of the buoy. And so then when the storm, di- when the, when the storm dies down, they, they wake up and they find themselves on a beach on a desert island, wondering, oh my God, what happened? How did I get here? And they've completely lost their way. They've completely lost their way and they lost their, they've lost touch with the Dharma and they've lost touch with their own inner freedom. They've lost touch with the truth. So, so, the, so the trust and the paying attention and the letting go really actually means much more than we can imagine. It's trusting in that which the mind can't imagine. Trusting in that which the mind can't imagine. And so the storm, in this story I just told you, the storm is a metaphor for, the, for an agitated mind, which, which represents fear, doubt, and negativity. Fear, doubt, and neg- neg- negativity. So if we can hold on to the buoy in the midst of the most powerful storms and not let go of it no matter what, our moksha, our enlightenment, and our spiritual self-confidence will become very strong. Will become very strong.